Test, test, are we good? Are we good here? Uh, I just realized I lost starting. Let's do it. Okay. I have to hear this music because of the copyright claim or whatever. I like that. Oh, uh, hello everyone. Um, doing part four of Batman Arkham Morgan. This episode, however, might be 30 minutes rather than an hour because it's late and I don't feel like recording that long. We'll see though. Excuse me? That can't be right. I finished that one. We're going down here now. Actually, we're going here. But, like, you know. Along the way, I can stop here. And here. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be fighting anyone. But, um... Find out. Oh my gosh. What in the world? That's the hat? He's real? He don't oh, want to no. us! Wait, the sun crowd? That's the bird! I don't know what's going on. Everything is set so that I can, um... Is that right? Available units call-in status. Possible assignment is coming. Anymore. You gotta pay like everyone else. That's the deal. Here he comes. That's the freak. Let's get him. Here we go. Don't give him any room to breathe. Okay, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I 
I don't got a clue, man. I gotta see the map. This way. Darn veteran. Damn, the entire network's gone down. What if the boss is, you know? Cobblepot ain't dead. Relax. We'll hold our posts until we hear back. Some of the other guys are saying it's over. Left or right? We gotta look out for ourselves. You hit the bat! on your clothes, the fires that litter the streets, or the sound bites that clog the air. I'm in your face. I'm in your head. Just like them. But I'm the menace? Here I am, trying to educate. But you don't want to hear it. You just want to buy it. But only if everyone else does, too. You're drawn to me. Go on, admit it. Like little moths to the light. Lid on over. You want to know what I'm selling? And if you don't, too bad. You can't shut me off any more than you can the billboards, or the branding on your clothes, or the flyers that litter the streets, or the sound bites that clog the air. I'm in your face. I'm in your head. Just like them. But I'm the menace? We gotta shut them down to shut them up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. You don't want to hear it. You just want to buy so you want to support your supporter. Only right? if everyone else does too. 
I've planted three God. bombs where God. So And I break your teeth doing so. Difficult to understand. That's not bad. Uh, bat point drop off. I got one right over here, don't I? And I like. Back to oh. investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Like this one? Definitely not looking good. I'm right there. Yeah, I'll go, I guess I'll go check it out. What a So apparently Penguin's guys were doing a deal in Jezebel Plaza when the bat showed up. Didn't end too well for him. Think their stuff's still there? We should take a look. And too late. SWAT beat us to it. Engage! Engage! No! <laughs> 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 Yeah. 
got holes in my cave. Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. What a shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him score him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me? I'd take the loot over to glory any day. You guys are cops. What's this about loot? What? That's not how that works. No. We all know that. Better. You think? I can make the IDs, but you sure it's gonna work? I've got the account numbers and passwords. If we've got driver's licenses that save with the guys, then as far as the bank's concerned, we're the guys. Yeah, but what if they, uh, recognize one of us? I specifically chose clients from out of town. Most of them have never set foot inside the bank. All right, but if this goes pear-shaped, it's on you. Relax, guy. I've been doing this a long time, and I never make mistakes. Yeah. Don't think we get this crazy at Christmas time. Lots of stuff in this place. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. I can reconstruct the crime scene with the evidence scanner. Evidence scanner. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. Hmm. And this dude? Everything unknown. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The 
The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? Then why is she hung from the chandelier? That's another question I'd ask. These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. How many dudes were in this room? Good lord. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. You know, this would be interesting for an animated movie. <laughs> yes, Batman Arkham Origins animated movie. <laughs> why, I mean, hey, why not? You know what I'm saying? We could. Sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? 
Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Okay. Where do I go for that? There. But I want to go over to here. That's an odd combination of moves. Please excuse me while I go use the bathroom real quick. I don't actually know how to pause this. So how to pause the video for, for me to do so, so... Is that how I do it? No. No, it's not. Um... I don't actually know how to pause it on here, so, uh, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Um. So funny thing, I have I haven't actually seen the Joker in Arkham Origins yet. So yeah, I know he's in the game. I just haven't eight seen two. him yet. I haven't gotten that far. Come in eight two. Dispatch Delta four four. Can you raise Delta eight two? Stand by four four. Delta eight two. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Report. Delta four four. No response from eight two. Please proceed inside to confirm eight two status. Ten four dispatch. What did, I, what did I say? I wanted to, um... Work. I've got the account numbers and passwords. If we've got driver's licenses that say we're the guys, then as far as the bank's concerned, we're the guys. But what if they, uh, recognize one of us? I specifically chose clients from out of town. Most of them have never set foot inside the bank. All right, but if this goes pear-shaped, it's on you. Relax, guy. I've been doing this a long time. And I never make mistakes. Oh, guy. <laughs> you don't even know his name. The bat! Man, <laughs> tearing those guys apart! What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Alfred. Contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. Okay, that's simple, eh? That's wrong button. That's simple, huh? You see tower murders. Double homicide, unknown male. Please blue the penguin murder black mask, but it ain't black mask, it's just somebody else. Tiffany Ambrose, confident Dante, caused that shot with the same revolver. Suspect, sus, sus, suspect, the Joker, no, suspect seems psychotic. Yeah, the Joker's psychotic, alright? The dude is a freaking, every time to be a freaking clown. The expect. No new. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's see. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Alfred, always looking out for us. Oh, I love you, Alfred. You're cool. You're a cool butler. I the butler is as cool as you. Where is it? That suit chamber. Choose your costume? That means we're gonna have more than one outfit. Where is it? Oh, where is it open? 
Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. <laughs> you do know there are easier ways to earn frequent flyer points, sir? Very funny, Alfred. <laughs> Why, thank you. Just a few more remarks like that, and I'll have earned my spot in the sarcastic butler's Hall of Fame. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one good apple in a bad bunch. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. Mm -hmm. I've done my best to keep the cave tidy, but with those bats mm -hmm. circling above, there's bound to be collateral damage. Do keep an eye out. Seems to me that Captain Gordon is the one Activity. good apple in a bad bunch. Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's mm. events. Alrighty, where are we going now? Is that it? I already did that. Why is it showing this? But I already did that. Isn't that quick? Apprehend suspect? What? I already did that. What? Looks like we're apprehending suspect once again. Just make sure that we do it quickly because I don't want to deal with this dude again. What do you think? I can make the IDs, but you sure it's gonna work? I've got the account numbers and passwords. If we've got driver's licenses, this back. Confirm the bad is out of This goes pear shaped. It's on you. Ha! Hey, I want to. What do you want? What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk him warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. 
I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. I understand why I have to do that. My yeah. board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Where's said crime of progress up here? Take that freak out. Needle. Ah, trip. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those, I fight to overthrow. Right, you know, cops don't care about us. We'd be better off without them. You already knew that, didn't you? I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But I'm that far away. But I had to I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is
I did. I'm going into the house with air conditioning. Level up time. Interesting. Even after knowing all you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial. Where's the courthouse? I've planted three bombs where Gotham's. <laughs> it's like all the way up there. I think I'll I think I'll hold on for a while. Ooh, that's interesting. And as the time comes, I'll go up there. For now, I'm gonna continue with main mission. How long we've been recording for? 47 minutes? Cool. I'll do the uh, police station and that'll be it for me. I may do another episode tomorrow. Might not for the weekend, I might not. We'll see. It depends, we'll see. You saw nothing. Holy frick. What was with all the bombs? One, two, three, four, Oh, oh, that, 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 that. Don't mind, I'd actually have to press this. Get off, get. Cool. Networks. Yeah, I'll be getting these eventually. I'm not, like, doing that sort of thing right now. Okay, so let's see, where are people? Yeah, do there, a do there, a do there, a do there, a do there. What's that? I think I can't do just yet. I don't know why there, there's bombs lying around all over the place. He's a little odd. Police officer ain't do nothing about it either, you know. This is, it seems even more odd, but you know, it's whatever. Let's take out this dude. Nobody's walking. Same with here.
How does one use concussion detonator? Interesting. Cool, cool. I've been recording for like 54 minutes now. Yeah, police station and I'm done. <laughs> you think there's a water pipe bursting? I'm sure so. Loeb. Loeb understood. The problem is Gordon ain't a team player. Yeah, how's he expect us to survive on a cop's salary? Somebody ought to lay boots to him. Show him how we do things in Gotham. <laughs> Sign me up for that. <laughs> Can't live off a cop's salary. What are you talking about? I could live off of a cop's salary if I needed to. Find a way to do it. Not everybody has to be a rich person. Do that. Oh, they're in the elevator. This won't be easy, but if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. Thank you. 
death There's eight assassins in town tonight. Speaking of, I wanna know, is Destro caught or am I gonna be fighting him again eventually? Captured. Same as Croc. It's not Croc, that's Bane. He could also be a black mask, you never know. <laughs> that's Croc. Uh Electrocutioner, he's on a loose. Stand. From the info we've been gathering, they're among the most dangerous criminals on record. Period. After interrogating Wayland Jones, we've learned that they're all competing for a huge bounty. Which Black Mask has offered for the head of the bat. Where do I sign up? <laughs> I thought he was a ghost. I All right, cut the chat, people. Myth. Our goal is to ensure order in this city. So our number one priority becomes bringing in the bat before these assassins get to him. Now, the closer it gets to morning, the more desperate the assassins will grow. And if he's still out there, the more damage they'll cause to the city as they try to find or attract him. All right. Dismissed. These dudes. Gordon. Captain Gordon. Real name, James W. Gordon. Occupation, please, Captain. Based in Gotham City. Eye color, blue. Hair color, brown. Height, 6 foot. He's tall. Weight, 180 pounds. Potentially one of Gotham's only honest cops. Hard nosed and by the book. Corruption within GCPD is a threat to his career and potentially his life. Gordon has been appointed the head of the Vigilante Task Force charged with bringing in the Batman, and he takes this job very seriously. Batman is no friend to engage in. Batman is no friend to the police and should tread with extreme caution when engaging officers, particularly those, particularly since many of them, excuse me, maintain criminal associations in the pay of. Black Mask, Penguin, or worse. As yet, Gordon's record remains clean. It remains to be seen if he can be trusted. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. No wonder the bat got the drop on him. Yeah, tell them to keep their eyes open next time. Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. Delta 6-1, line 7, please. Delta 6-1, line 7. Triple takedown? Dispatch! Bat is 1097! Engaging! We're taking him! Down! Should have literally done the double takedown map to make my life easier. Fast! I told you he's red! How am I getting hit? Oh, he's definitely on something. I got a guy in lockup who can sell whatever he's carrying. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. You gotta get his story straight first. Now, let's go through it again. This on a loop. able to access doors like this with my cryptographic sequencer. I'll need to find another way. What is this? Okay. 
okay, the range won't go that far. What do I do with that? What the heck? Oh, here we are. Don't stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Or I listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup crew at Blackgate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can ki <clears throat> kill the bat hey, before the ascent. Hi guys. I'm gonna die, but it's fine. Take him down! Not for the fist fight. I can do my best, and if I win, I'm just gonna restart because I'm not supposed to actually do this. We're just getting stuck. Looks like justice has finally been served, fellas. Now, to see what's under that mask. I won't stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Alright, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup crew at Blackgate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars of it. And for those of you who ain't too good with the math, that means we all retire early. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take him down then. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Enough! We only get one night to get this done. So whatever they put you on tonight, I want you to blow it off. Finding and killing the bat is your number one priority. Are you clear? Yes, sir. All clear. Clear as day, sir. You got it. Sir, yes, sir. Questions? Shout them out. How are we gonna keep this from Gordon and the rest of the force? Well, for starters, you're gonna keep your damn trap shut. Anyone else? Sir, what about the assassins? Will they see us as competition? Yeah. I didn't sign up to be on those guys' hit list. Look, you all put your lives at risk when you signed up for SWAT. Now, you want to make the big money, you're gonna have to accept bigger risk. That's how it works. Anyone wants out, can hand me their badge. Didn't think so. We good to go? Wait, Brandon. How do we know Black Mask will keep his end of the deal if we do kill the bat? He's good for the cash, trust me. And I know where he's stashing it. If you know where he's got the cash, why don't we go get it? Because the last thing we need is a war with Black Mask and his men. Come on, guys. Let's do this. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, I thought I did it again. Somebody open this door if it's locked on both sides. Brandon. Profile Brandon. Information. Real name. Howard Brandon. Your name's Howard. <laughs> Occupation GCPD SWAT Lieutenant based in Gotham City. Eye color blue, hair color brown, height six foot three, weight two hundred and thirty pounds. He's a heavy dude. Trigger happy leader of GCPD's fear tactical unit. Commonly extorts intimidate commonly extorts and intimidates criminals and innocents. One of the dirtiest cops on the force. Skilled marksman, proven tactical combat skills. Brandon represents everything that's wrong with the GCPD. He's on the take from nearly every major criminal syndicate in town and preys on the weak by extorting money through intimidation. He was Lowe's protege, but with Globe gone. 
Prandon will be looking to secure his promotion through other means. He is not in the running for commissioner, but he will be certain to make sure the next one maintains the arrangements Loeb established. doors. Probably hop over that. What about here though? You know who these dudes are, though. So, what does this disruptor of yours do? Little nice. bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, Is though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. They can get kind of rough, though. Hope it's not fragile. You want to play hardball, buddy? How's about I tell my cousin at the Gazette about the payments you boys been extorting from Penguin and the like? Scum like you's got a cousin at the Gazette. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Don't see you calling evidence lockup, now do I? You cops are all the same. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Like I said, I got all night. You and me both, pal. Oh, there's a donut box right there. Walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? 
Okay. Okay, you win. It it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks. All right. Now you gotta let me go. How'd that work out for you last time? <clears throat> Ricky Lucidus LeBlanc. I think I say that name right. Real name Richard LeBlanc. Occupation Arms Dealer, based in Gotham City. Eye color blue, hair color brown, height 6'3, weight 220 pounds. Like most bullies, he braced when faced with someone stronger. <laughs> LeBlanc has mid level connections all over the city. Could be a potential informant given his contacts. He works for Oswald Cobblepot. And wears a uh, Santa hat. <laughs> LeBlanc was a small time gun runner who fell in with the English crew and not now works exclusively for Cobblepot. LeBlanc conducts arms deals with various buyers and sellers all over the city. He fancies himself a comedian and a ladies' man, but he's nothing more than a common criminal who should be behind bars. So, why do we have his um, profile? He's captured now. Ain't he? Start with you. <laughs> Good one. Oh, okay, I'll open the door. But I could. <laughs> Get yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up. Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you? Hey, you don't get it, man. Policeman's charity winter ball. <laughs> um, hey, is this Gordon's desk? I don't look like Gordon. I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure.
So this way is the lockers. Why is there blood in a police station? I don't care what's going on out there. I gotta deal with this problem. If I don't give this bastard what he wants, he'll send the tape to the press. What the hell am I supposed to do? That's the best you got? How am I gonna whack him if I don't know who he is? Guy's a mystery, complete friggin' enigma. Yeah, great advice. Thanks. Yes. I mean, Priority one alert. All personnel be advised. Two elevens reported on the ground. Six twenty-two on the premises. Repeat. Priority one alert. Intruder in the building. Um. Let's have some strong hands if you're able to rip that off. He's out here crushing the criminals that you let walk free. He is the worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. Barbara Gordon. Real name, Barbara Gordon. The occupation, high school student. Based in Gotham City. Eye color, blue. Hair color, red. Height five foot two, weight one hundred and five pounds. Eidetic memory, so perfect memory. <laughs> Extensive knowledge of telecommunications infrastructure, networks, security. Supportive of alternate forms of law enforcement. Hacker. Barbara is the daughter of JCPD Captain James Gordon. At barely fifteen, she has remarkably has a remarkably mature understanding of the way this city works and the corruption that flows through it. She's one of the few who seem to understand Batman's goals and supports his efforts. The zealousness with which she tries to expose corruption could get her into trouble one day. She should be watched carefully for her own safety. Just close the door like that. Wait. Batman's in the building. Last seen headed towards your location. Be ready. Eight people. You'd think with the number of skulls we cracked, punks would think twice about messing with us. In the station, no less. Gotham, the filthiest little town I ever loved. Stay sharp, fellas. He's closing in on your location. Might already be there. Heard and understood, sir. He's in the room! Yeah! Hey, come on out! Damn it. Not sure what just happened there. You're out jumping, bad man. How long do you honestly Whoa! think you can keep this Someone up? Show yourself or I'll shoot!
ain't good. This ain't good at all. That ain't no way to treat a cop. What? Someone tossed that thing. Whatever. Must be. Who's that? What? All right. This is officially janky. Eyes on. Eyes on. Ten forty-one spotted. Can't see. Can't breathe. Shouldn't you be searching your quadrant? Eh, I'll leave that for the boys and SWAT. Why's that? Ain't you heard? Brandon made a deal with Black Mask. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. You gotta be kidding me. Gordon know about this? Probably, but what's he gonna do? What can he do? 
Hell, he's lucky if Brandon and those guys ever listen to him. This department is so screwed. Hey, uh, how do we get in on the bounty? Hope you like this. <laughs> Using a security protocol I'm not familiar with, and the windows are reinforced glass. Hmm. The disruptor in the evidence locker might do the trick. Who's gonna save you, huh? the evidence locker. I need an alternate route. The evidence locker, sir? Well, according to these schematics, it adjoins an old elevator shaft which you can access via the infirmary. You should be able to break in from there. I've added it to your map.
price on your head. Come to turn it in. Nice outfit, freak. Show your parents are proud. He's working with the cops now? He's lucky there's boss. Where I put the herd on. I heard the rumors, but I didn't think it was real. Infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That will take you to the evidence locker. Got it. Now I should be able to bypass the security on the server room door.
to get through is to use the disruptor. They're gonna let us out, but we'll make our own way out! Yeah, yeah! How about that? This ain't such a bad Christmas after all! Stay the night, pig! They're gonna have to let us out now. We've got us some hostages. Where the hell are the rest of the cops? Or maybe the bat killed them all. Who knows how to jimmy this long? Think more than that. What's this guy's story? Huh. Not much to look at from up close. Don't know why everyone was so afraid of him. Because I beat them. To, I beat them to death. Finally, we meet. Freak 
he's messing with. Not in the face! Not in the face! Bad, that I'm quick? also hearing that the right has stopped. Need a team down there to confirm. You are living. I don't understand. You let him out just to beat him up? I didn't start the riot. It was Brandon and his SWAT officers. Bo, a cop wouldn't do something like that. You must be new here. Brandon, taking a few bucks here and there is no big deal, but those guys don't know when to quit. You could do the right thing. Turn them in. And end up dead? Yeah, no thank you. Let's get him to Gotham General. Will do. Soon as he stabilizes. Please, we don't want any trouble. I'm not here to hurt you. I know, Josh. Why did you two posts get knocked out? Oh, fridge. Who does do? I don't know that. Um. All personnel, report your twenty on channel three. Trying to get a head count. Fuse missing. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> Who are you talking to in there? Voice chat on my laptop, you idiot. What decade do you think? Not... 
Alfred, I'm on my way out, but before I can access the server remotely, I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll peg the closest entrance on your map. They say the bat doesn't have a gun. Sir, yes, sir. Penguin's man said the disruptor can be used to jam their weapons. Where'd he come from? I think he's some kind of martial artist. Oh, oh, oh. hurt you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't be. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! I've highlighted a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and, sir, do try to keep out of the uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello, Batman? It's Barbara. Sorry for uh, hacking into your comms, but I need a favor. Some evidence crates have gone missing. Army-grade stuff, and no one here is doing anything about it. 
So I'm sending you their GPS location information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. I don't know what I'll do. when I'll end it for today. So I've been going for about almost two hours now. are blind. That was a knockout. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sewers. That will be tomorrow. If I do one tomorrow, I always just do one. Let's see. Yeah. I've been going on for like what? Uh, two hours now? Just about. So. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Uh, see y'all. Um, Next episode, I know I don't talk much during this episode, it's mainly because I do it every late at night. 
Also, because sometimes my mom comes home and I don't want to, I don't want her to be in this talking video because like that's weird and all. But also, Batman, cool. So I mean, it's two hours, but I mean, who gives a frick? It's Batman. Everybody loves Batman. You don't like Batman? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, this is this episode will probably be titled um. The police station. I wasn't titled title it investigating Lacey Towers murder. But I'm just gonna call it title of the police station saying as I literally been police station for about an hour and a half. <laughs> so yeah. More like an hour. It takes up half the darn video, so it may as well be called it. And we also have a fifteen year old girl talking in our ear, telling us to do this and that, so eh, that's something. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here now. I'll see you guys later. See you next time. Bye.